So last weekend, we saw the dawn of a brand new era over in League 1, as of course Lionel Messi made his debut from the bench for PS Bloody G. How did he do? How did he show? We'll take a little look next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video today. We're looking forward to match day number, what is it, five over in Lee. Oh, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe and I'll keep your bang out today with all things Black and Rose related, Lee uh, related, world football related. We get a little here. Under one, Ruski. That's right, of course. Uh, Lionel Messi took all the headlines last time around, of course, as uh, PSG, of course, got back to winning ways. But, of course, how did he get on, uh, of course, last time around? We'll take a look at that in just a second. Of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons, boy. Boys. Of course, if you want to support the channel in another way, check out those links down below. Of course, you could be my latest best mate for life. We're trying to get them up there. Of course, we're in the teens right now. And of course, over the next few weeks, we're going to revamp the Patreon. Of course, bring you inside data, of course, to the Prediction League. All that kind of stuff that's only going to be available to Patreons uh, only. We'll elaborate on all that on a separate video. But anyway, let's get cracking then, shall we? Here we go. Recap the scores. Last round, I think I did shit. I think, no, yeah, pretty shit. Anyway, let's get into it. Clem on foot uh, against FC Mets. Last round was a 2-2 draw. Final score, I went with the one they win for Mets, and I was wrong. Troy's against Monaco, 2-1 win. Monaco up and running, finally got themselves a first win on the season. Uh, so well done there. Uh, meanwhile, Leon also got themselves a, a win, first win of the campaign against FC Nantes, 1-0 uh, win in the end. I went with a 2-1 win for Leon. Not too shabby. I've got to keep an eye on these guys here. Of course, Nice, very, very nice win for them. 4-0 win over Bordeaux to make themselves up to fourth right now. Unbeaten, of course. Game in hand as well uh, with that uh, Marseille uh, derby yet to be resolved. Uh, big win for them, of course. Managed by last year's winners. So uh, keep an eye on those guys. Marseille against St. Etienne, 3-1 win. Got the one bang on the nose. So good win for them. Also remain unbeaten at the top of the table. Lille against Montpellier. Got a win for them. Also first win of the campaign. 2-1 win over Montpellier. That's right, 1-0 was my pick. Strasbourg against Brest. End up as a 3-1 win for Strasbourg. They're up to... Uh, I don't even know where they are up to. Uh, they're up to 13th right now. I'm on the new new draw myself. Lens against Lorient. 2 2 draw on that one. Lens remain unbeaten as well. 1 1 drew 3. That's right so far. So I've, I've the campaign 1 0 win for me. Angers against Rennes was a 2 0 win for Angers. Uh, I went with a 2 0 2 1 win the other way. And of course, PSG. Uh, should, that should be bloody yellow. Should be bloody yellow. Hey, edit up. Bloody scandalous. Uh, 2 0 win for PSG. I went with a 4 0 win as well. So I've got myself 2, 4, 5, 6 out of 10. It might look like five, but I got bloody six. Remember that. Uh, of course, that's a special number. This is the situation, of course, in the table. As you can see, a PSG, 100% record so far. Of course, it's probably just going to get better uh, for them, of course. Uh, if Pochettino loses this, you know what? Maybe, 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 I don't know. If you've got all the tools and all the stuff and you and you can't figure it all out, you've got you've got to reevaluate the situation. Anyway, that's the situation, of course, at the table. Troy's Bordeaux going down. Brest, not too far away either. Let's take a look at the prediction league. Got myself, what was it, five? Uh, five would get me nowhere, really. Around about 20th. Uh, but, of course, Russell Frost. Look at that. Kicking ass and taking names. Uh, nine out of ten. 90% success rate, of course. Well done to you, of course. Uh, so what's that done to the overall table for the month? The manager of the month goes to... Ba -da 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 Russell Frost, of course, confirmed as your August manager of the month. No one else uh, joins him in the ranks there, of course, with 22. Of course, that gives him a golden ticket into something else that we're going to figure out later on. Uh, but, of course, well done to you, Russell Frost. I've got so much to figure out, but, of course, that's that for the situation. Of course, still wide open. Of course, if you want to get involved with the next round matches, we have a static link now, guys. Get back into it. It is here, Cutley Force slash League. Oh, from here on in, that's the, the, the link that you're going to use. You type that in, bish bash bosh, you go there, put your predictions in, week in, week out. And of course, they'll be entered for, of course, the situation in the prediction league. So let's get into it, of course. Let's the next round of matches. Let's jump in the deep end. It is Monaco. We'll be taking on Marseille. Bit of a zinger opening match. Of course, these matches take place on set on the weekend of uh, the 11th. Uh, 55 times, the glitch of the season, 1993. 18 wins for Monaco, 23 wins for Marseille. 14 draws. The biggest win for Monaco was a 6-1 win. The biggest win anyway, was a 3-1 win. Last time, pressure, of course, in Monaco was a 3-1 win back in uh, January 2021. Monaco picked pick up the W. Uh, of course, heading into this Monaco, yet to get really get going. Uh, they lost an opening against Lorient. They picked up another defeat against Lens finally getting a win uh, against uh, Troyes, of course. I think they also lost on an open day. As for Marseille, unbeaten so far. Of course, the game against Nice has to be finished or redone. Uh, but, of course, heading into the back of the win against St. Etienne. Look at the odds on this one we have. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's even Steven Monaco, 30 to 5 ish. You're away win. That's Marseille, 30 to 5 ish. Also, you draw some Monaco. Are your favourites on this one? Uh, for me, I, I see it a little bit differently. Maybe just I'm going with a 3 2 in narrow win for Monaco. But, of course, Marseille giving them a bit of a, bit of a, a run for the money. 
in the end. Lorient will take on, of course, Lille uh, on the same weekend. Uh, these two sides are 29 times since 2001. Eight wins for Lorient, 15 wins for Lille, six draws. The biggest win for Lorient over Lille was a 2 to win. The biggest win the other way was a 5 0 win. Last night, of course, and uh, Lorient was a 4 1 win for Lille back in February 2021. Uh, last time around, of course, heading into this, sorry, uh, Lens. Uh, who are we looking at? We're looking at bloody Lorient. Lorient coming to this on the back of a draw. Uh, they, have, they did beat Monaco, of course, in match number two. So just one defeat for them so far. That was against uh, Montpellier on the road. Of course, at home, uh, played 1 1 1 so far for them. On the flip side, of course, Lille finally getting themselves moving in the right direction after a stuttered start. They did lose to Nice on, the, on match number two. Bef uh, before and after that, 1-1 one, one and draw two as well. So not too bad. But of course, they need wins if they're going to be back in that top four contention once again. Look at the odds on this one. We have 40-5 uh, for Lorient. Even Stevens is your Lille. 23-10 is your draw on this. Going to go with a 2-0 win for Lille on the road. And a big win for them in the end. Next up, of course, we have Mets. Uh, they're going to be hosting a Troyes. This is on Sunday, of course, September the 12th. Uh, of course, they played each other 26 times in 1999. 10 wins for Troyes, 9 wins for Mets, 7 draws. The biggest win for Mets over Troyes was a 3 1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 3 0 win. Last time they played each other, of course, in Mets, uh, in competitive action, was, of course, back in February 2019. It was a 1 1 draw in League 2. That's right, of course. Mets coming into this. I think they're unbeaten, are they? No, they're not. They're not really got going. Three draws at the pot the first four games of the campaign. They, 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 they did lose to Nantes, but they picked up draws with Clement foot, Reims and Lille. On the flip side, Troyes coming to this, I think they are rooted to the bottom of the table. Uh, just a one defeat, for, a one draw for them so far. That was against Strasbourg. They picked up losses against Monaco, Clermont Foot and PSG. Not the best start for them, of course, playing uh, two of the bigger boys in the first four matches of the campaign. Look at the odds on this one. We have 65 is your, your Mets, 94 is your Troyes, 94 is your draw. Uh, the bookies going with the hosts, and so am I, with a 2-1 win uh, to give Mets a W. Uh, into the next one, we have Nantes up against Nice. That's right. It'll be a bit of a banger. This one, of course, play each other uh, according to my knowledge, uh, 35 times, 14 wins for Nantes, 10 wins for Nice, 11 draws. The biggest win for Nantes over Nice was a 7 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 1 win. Last time I played, of course, in Nantes was a 2 1 win for Nice, which was very, very nice. It's actually been back to back wins for Nice. Uh, just one win in the past six for Nantes over Nice. That was in Nantes. Which is not very nice, of course. Anyway, heading into this, of course, Nantes uh, started off okay. Of course, uh, you know, uh, play. Uh, they picked up a win and a draw in the first two games. But it's been back-to-back -back defeats since. Back-to-back -back, uh, scoreless defeats as well. Uh, both 1-0 losses. Meanwhile, Nice unbeaten, uh, of course, and got a game in hand. Uh, they did pick up a draw against Reims on an open day. But since then, back-to-back 4-0 wins. Picking up wins against Bordeaux and Lille. Uh, no clean sheet. Back-to-back okay, -back clean sheets as well. Scoring eight goals in the course of two games. Of course, heading into this one, though, we have Nantes. 11-5 for the victory. 23 20 is your Nice. And Way through your 10 is your draw. So it looks like the bookies gone with the away team on this one. I think I am too with a 3 0 win for Nice. Guess what? That's better, very nice. Next up, we have Bordeaux who are struggling up against Lens who are doing better, very well for themselves. Of course, pleasure the 40 times since 1993. Uh, 16 wins for Bordeaux, 12 wins for, for Lens, and 12 draws. The biggest win for either of the two sides over each other was a 3 0 win. Last time, pleasure in Bordeaux was in fact that 3 0 win back in May 2021. Go in favour of Bordeaux. Bordeaux coming to this, of course, struggling, absolutely struggling. Uh, two draws of the first four games. Uh, they're in a bit of trouble, of course, uh, and also coming to this on the back of that 4-0 loss to Nice which wasn't very very nice of course heading into the lens I think they're unbeaten of course 1-1 drew 3 we talked about that they are the draw specialists they also picked a bit of a savvy win against Monaco in Monaco uh, of course last round because that's 21 to 10 is your Bordeaux 65 is your lens a bit of a tight odds on this one 5 to 2 is your draw I think I'm going to go with a win for the hosts on this one of course break break the mould here of course uh, they've got to win sometime and I think this is the time for them next up we have Montpellier they're going to take on Etienne back on Saturday now uh, the 11th of course pleasure 34 times since 993 12 wins uh, for uh, Montpellier, 18 wins for Saint Etienne, and four draws. Of course, the biggest win for Montpellier, a uh, 3 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 0 win. Last night, of course, in Montpellier was a 2 1 win for Saint Etienne back in May 2021. Of course, Saint Etienne coming to this on the back of a, a, a bit of a rut. Uh, what are we looking at here? Three draws and a, and a, and a loss. Uh, for them in the first, the last four games or the first four games of the campaign. On the flip side, Montpellier coming to this just one once, uh, one once in the past four as well, uh, but also on the back of a, a Lille defeat last round. Look at the odds on this one. We have 65 is your Montpellier, 2 to 1 is your 6 to 10, 5 to 2 is your very, very night, narrow odds as well. I think the hosts nick it, uh, but I've gone with a draw, 1 1 on this one to take the point. Next up, we have Lyon against Strasbourg also on Saturday. Uh, who's gonna Who's gonna fancy the chances on this one? Pleasure the twenty uh, thirty six times since nineteen ninety three. Twenty five wins for Leon, five wins for Strasbourg, six draws. The biggest win for Leon over Strasbourg was a five 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a three 0 win. Last night, pleasure of course in Leon was a three 0 win for Leon back in uh, February twenty twenty one. Leon actually go one, two, three, four, five. 
five games unbeaten against uh, Strasbourg. Last time they lost was uh, was against them in the, in the Cup uh, in 2019 in Lyon. Uh, Lyon come into this on the back of, uh, what are we looking at? 1-1, uh, one, one, uh, one, one, drew 2, lost 1. That sort of stuff. On the flip side, Strasbourg come into this on the back of a win against Stabres. Prior to that, they drew with Troyes. They picked up a, a narrow defeat against uh, PSG. Uh, so 1-1, one, one, drew 1, lost 2 for Strasbourg on this. Of course, the odds will fancy Lyon 29 on for the victory. 7-2 to two is your 11-2 to two is your Strasbourg on this. So Lyon, the, the favourites, they are the favourites for me as well. 3-1 win. Take it to the house. Of course, there we go. PSG against Clement Foot. We do believe that Lionel Messi will probably start this game. It'll be, of course, post-international break. Of course, we'll have to see about all those regulations. They've never played each other. This will be the first time. What a time to make your debut. A uh, full debut against a team you've never played. Uh, anyway, of course, heading into this 75% form for PSG. Clement Foot coming to this 83% form. Yet to taste defeat. It looks like picking up draws against Metz. Picking up draws against Lyon. Uh, picking up a win against Troyes. And also a win against Bordeaux. So, uh, unbeaten start to life in Lyon for Clement Foot. But, of course, they take on PSG who are 3 for 3 or even 4 for 4 at the top of the table. They've also scored, what, 4, 8, 12 goals in the course of uh, the first four games, so averaging three goals a game. PSG, 9 one on for the victory. 8-1 is your draw, 6 one is your long shot. So that's Clement Foot. I'm going to go with a win for PS Bloody G. 4-0 in the end uh, to give themselves a fantastic card. Will the Messi score? That's the question. Does he need? Is, does, is, is he going to have a bit of a jinx on his shoulders? Of course, with a new team. Imagine that. Imagine if he, if he takes him forever, an eternity, to get his first goal. That would be a, a story to tell. But anyway, let's get into the next one. Of course, Brest taking on Angers. Let's get into this one. Of course, played each other 20, 17 times in 2004. Nine wins for Brest, four wins for Angers, four draws. The biggest win for Brest over Angers was a 2 0 win. The biggest win in the way was a 3 2 win. That's right. Last time, played each other, of course, in Brest was a 0 0 draw back in March 2021. Uh, heading into this Brest, what are we looking at? Uh, yet to get going. Of course, back to back defeats for them, losing to Strasbourg, losing to P. PSG, of course, a couple of draws so far at the start of the season. On the flip side, Angers coming to this on the back of a win against Rennes, picked up a draw also against Bordeaux, and a win against Lyon. So, uh, in fact, they're looking pretty savvy at the top of the table. They've got uh, nine points at the top. I'm going to have to confirm that. Uh, shit the bed. I've pressed the wrong thing. Angers, where are you? Where are you? You're up there, of course, in second right now. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, book his odds on this one. We have Brest coming out to 85 for the victory. 31 to 20 is your Angers, and 25 is your I think I've gone with the hosts on this one. Uh, I've gone with the draw, that's right. Safe bet, that's right. Right down the middle. Cannot separate two sides. 1 1. What do you guys think? And of course, finally, we have Reigns up against the Reims, of course, in the back of the R's. Locking horns on, of course, uh, the 12th of September. Played each other 17 times in 2006. Five wins for Rennes, nine wins for Reims, and three draws. Of course, the biggest win for Rennes over Reims, 3 1 win. The biggest win in the other way is a 2 0 win. Last time I played, of course, in Rennes was a 2 2 draw back in uh, October 2020. In fact, uh, it was back to back 2 2 draws, both home and away uh, between these two sides. Of course, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, Rennes come into this. Uh, yeah, they've won three of the past four games. Of course, that's including uh, Conference League or Europa League, whatever it is. And they did lose to Angers last time around. Reims on the flip side had a bit of a nightmare start. Start, uh, pick up three draws and just a, and a defeat to PSG. So just one defeat, ain't too shabby, but of course not really much to get going. 5 to 3 on is your Rennes, 40 to 5 is your draw, 90 to 4 is your away win. That is Reims on this one. Gonna go with a win for the hosts, 2 1 win in the end. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, of course, as we look forward to this one. And again, to use your uh, to use the prediction league, we'll get involved with it. Just use the static link now, cutly forward slash league. Ooh, that's right. Of course, be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Of course, check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon as well. If you want to support channel in another way, that's the best place to do it is from from as little to as much as you like become my latest brother from another mother also check out the link to the discord it's wide open of course until then i'll see you soon for the next one whenever that is